Hello and welcome back to In My Image. We can see all of Europe and Europe is uh, interesting. We, I have no idea who will win yet. Um, I still think Carpusen is... well, actually Carpusen. Are you being invaded by Inalchi? Inalchi is smothering you in the crib. You're the attacker against Carpusen in Inalchi Conquest of Tarnov. What ideas do you have, Inalchi? Trade deficiency and movement speed, cavalry combat, mercenary maintenance, national manpower and manpower recovery. It's not bad. It's it's actually not bad at all. Mercenary maintenance is good in a pinch. Movement speed is all right, I guess. I mean, Carpusen has eaten most of Tamachilken. Actually, is Tamachilken a colonizer? They usually are. Yeah, they are. So they might get kicked out of Europe and get to play in America instead. Hmm. I love it when that happens. Anyway, we have a bunch of money. So let's uh, let's get building. Naval equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I suppose it's not bad. Textile? Yes, more textile. Let's do that. And we do not need our military maintenance to be full. Hey, get back. <laughs> you can't you can't get back? Right, I will automatically transport you then. This is gonna take a while. Well at least automatic transport is is nice. Kalpi has finally started to core the provinces they got. This one is probably very expensive. So I'm not uh, too worried about them not having done so yet. Uh, Guglug, would you share a map with me? Yes, they... We have nothing... Actually, there, there was one at the very end there. Just the Indian Ocean. Eastern Indian Ocean. Sure. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind giving you some prestige. Oh, the Western. That wasn't even much, really. Alright, we're earning quite a bit of money now. 40. Ah, that must be due to our um, yearly tribute idea we have. And I mean, the legacy of Lunacy is going to do almost nothing for us because we're already not facing any revolt, not having any legitimacy problems. This one will be nice, uh, though it's for later, really. Chartered companies. Do we want to have that? I mean, it's six and it's just sixteen as a penalty. It's not that bad, to be honest. Well, we can wait until we're capped on diplo power. There's no rush. North Konkan. Give me that as a state, please. Then, uh, then we can invest in the regimental system. Another 10% off. It's either that or we go for military tech 12 with some new cannons. I would rather earn more money, to be honest. To be honest, that wouldn't be too bad at all. And we need to keep building. We can never stop building, or rather we can, but it's not going to be good for us if we do. These textile manufacturers will not build themselves. Perhaps we should build some in our um, vassals. I mean, Kalpi is 7 development, alright, it's not, not that much. And you have some good ones. Do you have a good one? 16, 20. Right, what's going on here? Sure. Whatever, take take fur. Yeah, Carpusen, your days are numbered. Look at that. They're being absolutely smashed by Nalchi. Ejil Kant is being occupied by Mengi Timuria. Yeah, we have some great powers rising up here. Some of I mean Mengi Timuria is definitely gonna overtake me as soon as they get their tech on par. I mean, they're not doing poorly, but I have to invest everything they got into military tech. But they have a six military ruler. 
Right, so they've gotten some new ones. Stability cost modifier 15, reinforced speed 7.5. They're pretty bad, fortunately for us. Well, they're not bad bad, but they're not absolutely amazing. Hmm. I believe we might want this one. Yeah, we're gonna need it eventually, in any case. Saga Nuyajini, though. No CB on you. No CB on you. Oh, you're a little vassal, I see. What state are you point part of? Gondwana. Alright, we're gonna have to uh, destroy you, but I would prefer it if my vassals would actually fabricate on you. You don't seem to be fabricating much whatsoever. Hmm. Well, I'll give them some time. And I guess we'll have to invest in this now. Hmm. Chartered Companies. Enables the brig. Oh, and this one. Ah, and then we get a new idea group. And we get plantations. Finally. For our capital has cotton. Alright, so Carpusen lost a lot of land. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of development going to Inalchi. Wonder how much uh, Mengitamuria is gonna take though from Igil Kant. Ah, there we go. That's not insignificant. That's uh, actually pretty insignificant so far. Well, that's a good one. And the provinces here in Russia, though, didn't convert over with much development, so it doesn't surprise me that Menge Temuria can just gobble them up with impunity. Oh, so Jejirodai has finally gotten colonialism. And the former march has been designated a vassal by their overlord Menge Temuria. Aha. Does that piss them off enough to not spread printing press into them, though? No, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, they are slowly getting both institutions way ahead of any European, <laughs> so Mingi Tumuria is very likely to just absolutely destroy uh, Europe. But they have Inalchi. Well, I suppose Inalchi isn't really much of a threat to them. Ah, by the way, Guglug. Guglug finally annexed their vassal. What are you up to now? You have one tributary state in the form of CD. You've had it forever. Who are you gonna attack? Who have you fabricated on? You've fabricated on uh, Madupur. Otherwise, you're still coring, so. Well, I understand your pain. It takes a lot to core these. I guess you're going for Indochina after that. Hmm. Burkania. Oh, did you. Did Burkhane take this? I think they might have. Uh, admin power or a bunch of gold? Admin power. Admin power is worth more than gold. Let's be real. Yeah, let's, let's build as many as we can. All of these textile manufacturers take so long to actually build. But we should start them as soon as we possibly can. Dorolas is getting eaten by Ebu uh, Gejin. Ijil Kant is not facing any secondary attacks after Mengitumuria wiped the floor with them, though. No? Jajiradai, stop fabricating on me. You're actually gonna be annexed soon, I believe. No, you're integrating Arapasta. Farewell, noble Bayad uh, vassal. I don't want to attack Mengitumuria. They are quite... Scary. Uh, Mengutumuria has well, well, way less troops than me, but at the same time, if I kill them now, I don't have my greatest rival. <coughs> Excuse me. Religious, offensive, diplomatic ideas. It's an interesting choice. Gorgia. Golden Era. Not bad. <laughs> we can offer an alliance to them. Oh. 
Oh no, poor Shiragulia. Karkapua is coming to get them. And Horkudag is taking on Badugaria. Things things really change quickly in this game. Especially in Europe. No wait, Badugaria is attacking Shinagulia. It's not Karkapua. Two blue nations next to each other. It's confusing. Ah. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's build more. So you finally got colonialism. How is it going for you, Targana? Do you have a colonial nation yet? No, and you're influencing your vassal, Chakagun. Hmm. Seriously though, does anyone have a colonial nation yet? I think not. So the colonial game is gonna start very slowly. <clears throat> I think Tamashiltgen uh, was one of the designated colonizers and then got absolutely stomped. Lebatu also has exploration ideas, but they have not colonized America. Yeah, mercantilism, please. Hmm. Right, Kalpi, have you cored it? You have cored it! Congratulations, you're doing your job. Hostile core creation cost on us 60%. Alright, that's not a bad march to be honest. Maybe I should have them as a march. I'm still undecided, really. Mm, we're getting Miltech 13. 11 points of penalty for not having the printing press yet. It's 74%. Hmm, we can invest admin and dip to get it. Alright, we can wait for this. And then we will save up money. See if we can embrace the institution. Some textile manufacturer is finally um, finishing off. We're earning 48.86 gold a month. That's a significant number. I wonder if anyone is earning more than us. Um, country income. No. No, wait, that's the money in the treasury. Income. Yeah, we're way ahead of the second one, which is uh, Mengi Tumuria. Hmm. Can't expand too quickly then, I suppose. I mean, we have been incredibly lucky with getting stuff like the printing press next to us, and we have already been able to field a large army. Mengi Tumuria is not that strong yet. I mean, if they would have gone for quantity, they would have been Russia, pretty much. They have religious offensive diplomatic. And their fire damage received is a big deal. Alright, we can get military tech, finally. Small cast iron cannon. We're going for... hmm, which one should we go for? We're going for large cast. Offensive... Offense is the best defense. As everyone knows. wonder um, what's happening over in America. Alright, what's this? We will first and foremost gain some inflation, I think, because I don't want to lose... Yeah, I don't want to lose any uh, stability. Karkotan Crusade against Ol Yaitu against Karkotan, Namningid. This is a defensive war. Ah, so it's Namningid, Karkotan and uh, Madipur. So who are we actually fighting? Everyone is in the east. That's a good, good one. Good war. This is gonna be a good war. And we can't pass, but we can ask for military access. Yes. Right. Let's get over there. This might turn ugly, but we have a, a tech advantage, I think. 13 to 12 to 13. Alright, it's not a much of an advantage, really. 
Wouldn't mind another general. Give me another one. Yes, that's a good one. It's not great, but it's good. And we can embrace an institution for, well, everything we have. Right, let's do it. Right, so we do want to give Guglug an inroad into the east here by destroying the numbing eads. So, that would mean that we should focus our efforts. Let's see. Do you have any claims anywhere? Only on Madipur, and they are not in the war. Karkotan is st not still allied to Mengitimuria. Mengitimuria is allied with Susni. Not the best ally, I would say, but whatever floats your boat. Ah, uh, we need to help. Get over here. Actually, go into Yunnan. Did, did you? You lost. Yeah, I see you running away. And this is not the best, but we are winning. I think we are still winning. Yes, we won. It was not pretty. We did win. Yeah, you can stand it together for a while. Yeah, well, helping our allies here. I really want a, a loyal ally in Guglug. And uh, I'm very close to it, I believe. Let's see. Uh, here it is. So trust is 80. And I think it's 80 we need to um, make sure that they don't rival us. Let's give this to Guglug. Actually, let's... Is this a fort? Mm, doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're we're taking them out. That was a uh, mistake. Karkotan crusade against Oljaitu. So is this a, a vassal of? Oh, it's a vassal of Google. I see. That's not bad. It's a um, very uh, well placed vassal there. They don't have too many forts here. We're giving it to Guglug. Guglug. Finally, fort has fallen. Give it to Guglug. We don't want anything from anyone we're fighting here. They do not border us. They're actually not far away from our border, but we have all of Mingutemuria in the way. He's currently not fighting anyone. Wonder how you're gonna do whenever you get uh, printing press and or colonialism. Well, I don't want a cakewalk, so I'm gonna let them catch up in institutions before I plan any offensive action against them. Wait, only have to. Ah, maybe I should give this to them. Have given th this to them instead. Hmm. I don't know. And while this is going all too well, I'll give this to all Yatu. In case they want to feed their vassal. This is going to go look though. Diplomat is dead. Let's replace it, him with a trade efficiency guy. Where did they go? There were some rebels here and then they just vanished. Vanished into thin air. I am incredibly curious to see what they take. You have cored everything, but this is th th these are all territories. You're gonna need more states soon. By the way, speaking of uh, development, states and stuff, we're still quite a way from becoming a uh, an empire. 
We have 615 development. We're gonna need a bit more than that. A bit more. Let's go and get all of this. Ooh, can we catch them? We can. You have no leader. Alright, that was a bit of a mistake. Maybe we can do it anyway. Get down there quickly. Oh, we did actually win. Yeah, th this, this is uh, amazing. Guglug being fed lots of land, they are also uh, leveraging their militarized monarchy to the fullest with their war exhaustion and autonomy change stuff, I do believe. Targana is just colonizing. They have not been expanding for a while. They have a truce with Shakabu, Jalair, Megadaria. Maybe they had a war without me. Anyway, Yes Yesuge has finally eaten Basra. I was waiting for that, so good job, Yesuge. I uh, approve. I fong. There it is. Let's give it to Google. Uh, what do we actually need to do? Show superiority. Well, I think we've already done that. We have boats there. Bit unfortunate, can't go. Take them out, but I can lure them here, maybe? Come on, go to Lysha. Oh, I can't actually take Lysha. Uh, the fort is over here on King Shao. Ducats, please. Let's build some more um, textile manufactories. Wonder if uh, they will uh, relinquish CD at some point to uh, eat them instead of uh, keeping them as a tributary. That's what I would have done. So the border gore is horrendous. Give all of this to Guglug. And it, poor Namning Eid, they really didn't have much, much to uh, come. Um, I mean, why did they attack Guglug when they were allied to me? Number one great power in the world. Mengitimuria's development is actually way ahead of mine. They are only second place because of technology. But then again, I think their autonomy is quite bad almost everywhere. That's very likely why they aren't uh, doing so well when it comes to uh, force limit. Hmm. We will see. What's going on here then? Nalchi, are you doing anything? No. Nope. Carpusen is being attacked by the Valatenhood. And uh, being thoroughly destroyed, it looks like. Megachinia is fighting Odongor Ulsin. He's defending in two wars and attacking in one. Ah. Why does Shagapon have one random province inland in Japan? I don't know. They should fix that. Trade some provinces between each other or whatever. Sell them, maybe. Siege of Canton. Oh, you're converting. Converting Sunni to Shia. Go right ahead if you like. Alright, they're finally out. Alright, alright, alright. Get over here. Karkotan Crusade against Old Yaitu. So, human and edge into Arkai. Oh, so Arkai was in this. Uh, Namningid will see Yunnan, Lingyun, Guyang, and Guangnan to Guglug. Favors gained. Quite a few favors there. We're um, 
We've uh, stocked up on favors quite nicely. Right, so they took four quite crappy provinces and Arkai took a few. Well, one of them was really good. Right, Guglug, you're, uh, you're doing fine. You probably had that without me, but uh, I don't mind helping. What? Seedeed, what did you just... Did you give this to Seedeed? They are a tributary, no? Can you even core this now? Are you just feeding Seedeed, even though they are tributary? This is quite interesting, because I don't think you can core through your tributaries, or can you? Maybe they think that Seedeed is a real tri uh, vassal instead of a tributary. That would not surprise me. Well, it's their choice, I suppose. Feeding uh, Seedeed. They can do whatever they like. I will not necessarily approve. Where are things going, Targana? Seems to be uh, fairly calm in Europe. Targana is the third great power still, followed by Nalchi, and it's mainly the um, institutions that are differing. We're the only one at 100% of all of them. That's actually quite impressive. Uh, what is going on here? Loyalty rewarded? Nah. Not sending away money. Let's see here. So, how fast are the institutions spreading? In Europe, one is actually spread to Romagna. It's colonialism. So they're finally gonna start catching up. Ooh. I never realized that it was spreading to Europe at all. And that's the only place it spread. To Shiragulia. Is it because of exploration ideas? I suppose it must be. I think you get colonialism if you have a port in the New World. Which, then it means that Shiragulia has one. And no one else has one. Hmm. Well, well, the printing press they are not getting. Not, uh, not for a while. How is your integration going? In 72, you will be done integrating Arapata. So, Kalpi. I might want to force Kalpi to have my dynasty. Place a relative on the throne. Let's do it. So now we have Chief Karl Bayard. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, you are targeting outraged countries. Let's pick own subjects for a while. Broaden the gaps is the one Mengitimuria definitely has. Not sure if they have any other. Hmm. Do they have uh, another nation of their dynasty? Mengitimuria. Seems to be alone. By the way, how does Mingitimuria have this? There's a mountain here. Is it because this is their tributary? It's a bit random, isn't it? Never noticed, but that's uh, apparently how they are connected. Disgusting border gore is all I have to say about that. Maybe I should declare a war on them just to shaping up their borders slightly. Right, should I start integrating you? That is the question, because I can't... You, you seem to be fabricating nothing of any importance. I think I will. I'll start integrating Karanaskia, but I will keep Kalpi around for a while. The question is, are you fabricating anything? No. Hmm... Hmm, I really want another idea group. 
Really do. And I have nothing else to spend the admin point on. So let's pick an admin group. Innovative or admin? Mercenary, core creation. Hmm. Admin tech costs. Number of states. Prestige decay, mercenary maintenance, tech cost. Advisors, inflation, monthly war exhaustion, advisor cost. I think I want to go innovative because it's thematically correct for me to go innovative. I am innovating a lot. Maybe we get a nice policy out of it. Well, we have development costs. No, no really interesting ones. Mm, sure. Oh, and we need to build buildings. I love building buildings. Yeah. Lots of basic buildings. I mean, we need them. Alright, I mean, yes, okay, you're doing a great job. I really like having you as a tributary, but aren't you getting a bit big? 2% liberty desire. Alright, I guess you're not getting too big. Perhaps I should build something as a sign of thank you. For your nation. Where is your capital? Oh, of course it's Bandar Lange. And this one is spices, so I can't actually build anything for you here. But I can give you... Uh, this, is, this is just to improve uh, the relation of me, really. Here, have a little gift. What about you, little Kalpi? You should have some stuff. Well, this is for me. Do you need a shirt or something? Will that improve your money gain? In any significant way? Sure, have that. A workshop. There we go. I just wanted to be a, a little nice to my uh, subjects. Anyway, Mengutumiria hasn't declared any wars lately. Maybe they are calming down and trying to actually make what they have work. Yeah, we're getting defensive mentality. So fort maintenance, minus 10%, will give us a bit of money. Let's see how much. Uh, not, not that much, but it's not insignificant. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.